This video is brought to you by FX's The Old Man. Watch it Thursdays on FX. Stream on Hulu. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real life spy gadgets. This oh. anti fungal spray can freeze and disable any security system. Wow, that is quite an image to be carrying all over Europe. It's also a pepper spray. For this list, we'll be looking at actual equipment that was designed for spies and intelligence agencies. These are the tools that a real James Bond might have used on a mission. While not all of them were used in the field, they were tested and designed for real world situations. Which of these would you like to own? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Dragonfly Inceptothopter. This is no ordinary dragonfly. This listening device had a lot of potential, but it was too ambitious for its day. The CIA's project mimicked the design and flight of an actual dragonfly. If that wasn't impressive enough, the original design resembled a bumblebee. Created as an unmanned aerial vehicle, the reconnaissance equipment was cutting edge for the 1970s. Intelligence services for more than 100 years have recognized the desirability of having an unmanned aerial reconnaissance platform. In a world before drones, this object flapped its wings using a gas-powered engine. While the concept showed promise, the sneaky insect never took flight in the field. It had a small engine that would make its wings flap up and down and it was directed and guided by a bimetallic strip on the back and a laser beam. It could actually fly 200 meters in 60 seconds. Packing so much into a tiny package, the device wasn't able to handle the effects of a crosswind. Despite its flaws, the Insectothopter was one of the most ingenious would-be gadgets the agency ever attempted. Number nine, pipe radio receiver. Back when pipe smokers were common, this spy gadget was a crafty alternative to the traditional radio. First you must your pipe snow buff. Knock out, you mean. I hope. Mind your head, Sir Hillary. Equipped with a tiny receiver, the device allowed agents to pick up transmissions out in the field. Best of all, the signal could be heard without a hearing attachment. The agent's jawbone conducted the radio waves, making the transmission audible without the need for an earpiece. It would be best not to light up the pipe, though, as that would damage the delicate interior. Ahead of its time, the pipe was a unique and cunning gadget. But I shouldn't think I need it on this assignment, sir. All the same, take it with you. Good luck, 007. Number eight, lipstick gun. Don't let James Bond and Jason Bourne fool you. Spying was very much a woman's game. I'm afraid I have another appointment tonight, Mr. Fisher. I'm awfully sorry to leave you, but I have to get off. Female spies had some of the coolest secret gadgets around. Consider this gadget for KGB operatives, which looks like a regular lipstick to the untrained eye. Contained within the base was a gun mechanism, which could fire a single four and a half millimeter bullet. Fire! It's a one use only gadget, but one that could have saved a life in a pinch. Traditional firearms aren't suitable for every location, so the lipstick allowed spies to sneak in a lethal replacement. Ultimately, the ingenuity of this gadget comes down to its compact and discreet nature. Just act natural. Number seven, compass cufflinks. If you're a stylish suit wearer, you might as well have a compass on hand. Just changing carriages. This subtle and effective gadget aided American agents in need of a little direction. If a spy happened to get lost in their favored suit, all they'd need to do is look at their cufflinks. Housed inside the hollow body was a little compass, ready to guide any spy to their intended destination. While compasses were often hidden in everyday items, none of them could compete with this fashion statement. This idea really poses the question, why not add compasses to all cufflinks? I can't go until I find my cufflinks. Yeah, see, I knew you would lose them. Number six, exploding chocolate. Chocolate. As World War II raged on, spies planned assassinations of rival nations' leaders. Just as the Allies contemplated killing Hitler, the Axis powers wanted the likes of Winston Churchill gone. This apparently led the desperate members of German intelligence to an unusual idea, death by chocolate. Death by chocolate. 
there, there are worse ways to go. Specifically, they wanted to leave an explosive device disguised as chocolate in the British War Cabinet, hoping it would kill Churchill. The plan was thwarted by British intelligence, leaving the deadly delicacy on the cutting room floor. Thankfully for England and the Allied powers, the chocolate never made it to Churchill's hands. Number 5. Cigarette Pack Camera This inventive alternative to smoking from the CIA takes special 35mm film. Instead of a normal pack of cigarettes, the container was specifically fitted for a small spy camera. The only problem would be if somebody asked for a cigarette, since there isn't any room in the pack for them. Habit. With the need for secret photographs of files and documents, this contraption is a clever alternative for larger traditional cameras. After returning from the field, the photos could be developed for their respective intelligence agencies. Q, what's that mark there? Huh? Oh, probably a show through of something the drawing was resting on when it was photographed. Must have been done in a hurry. In the days before smartphones, the cigarette pack camera was a sneaky substitute for stealthy photography. Number 4. Spy Code Compact Another gadget designed for female agents, this CIA-issued compact was as useful as it was innocuous. The bottom functions as any makeup compact would, but the top mirror hides secret spy codes. They can only be read if you're looking at the mirror at a specific angle. An undercover spy could casually pull out the compact and read the mirror while pretending to apply makeup. Considering that these codes were top secret, it was only fitting that they could be surreptitiously read. As long as it didn't fall into the wrong hands, this genius idea was a useful tool for field agents. Every night at exactly 12 o'clock, you must be alone, so that you can switch on that receiver and listen for my voice. Number 3. Charlie the Robot Fish Don't let the cute exterior fool you. Charlie the Robot Fish wasn't a child's toy. It was actually built as a remote-controlled vehicle to collect water samples. The CIA created a UUV, an unmanned underwater vehicle. The CIA developed it as a precursor for further unmanned underwater projects. Another major feature of Charlie was that it could operate without being detected by the enemy. Some of Charlie's capabilities include maneuverability, speed and depth control, autonomy, and radio communications. While it might not look like much, Charlie was meant to blend in with other fish. Unfortunately for the novel concept and design, it was never used in the field. He would swim upstream and collect a water sample, bring it back to CIA, and now our scientists can test it to see if there's things like nuclear runoff or biochemical agents present in the water. Number two, poison umbrella. Not just for a rainy day, this umbrella had a killer secret. Hidden inside, there was a pellet with the toxin ricin. The operator could inject the pellet into an unsuspecting victim. Famously, this gadget was used against Bulgarian dissident writer Georgi Markov. In 1978, Markov felt a sudden pain in his thigh while waiting for a bus. Apparently, he'd been jabbed by a man with this particular umbrella. After he got to this bus stop, he felt a sharp pain in his right thigh and later said he remembered seeing a man next to him fumbling with an umbrella. Four days later, Markov died at a London hospital. This document allegedly shows the former Bulgarian leader paid $50,000 to have Markov killed. Other Bulgarian communist officials and Soviet KGB officials were implicated, but no individual has ever been charged with the murder. Due to the secrecy of the gadget, there's no telling how many other mysterious deaths might have happened because of it. One of the more sinister gadgets ever created the Poison Umbrella remains an infamous chapter in spy history. Number 1. Letter Removal Device Looking like a long pair of thin pincers, this handheld device snatches a letter out of a sealed envelope. The device slides into the gap at the end of the flap. The letter is then spun into a tiny scroll around it before being pulled out. The letter could be placed back into the envelope with no one the wiser. This simple yet effective design puts a whole new spin on reading someone else's mail. I wanted to talk to you about something. This isn't about my opening your mail. What? Because I don't, never have. Anything I read was already open. <laughs> There's no telling how much this device helped spies during the Second World War. With the advent of email and data encryption, this gadget doesn't get the same mileage it once did. <laughs> Still, it was ingenious for its time. This video is brought to you by FX's The Old Man.
Watch it Thursdays on FX. Stream on Hulu.